Hello friends. Again time for one video for 12th standard definite integration with substitution. Welcome to Devsar's Mathematic back again. I am trying to make maximum videos almost every alternate day for you so that you can watch them, learn the key steps, study ke pehle 15-20 din dekho roj naya naya video, nahi to pura na video dekho, so only 10-12 minutes, watch, learn, now taya to poocho. Okay, so let's see, let's go straight away to the problem. Simple sum, definite integration asked in board exam, definite integration with substitution, kya karna hai? Okay, all set, let's go. 0 to pi by 4, limits are there, cos x upon 4 minus sin squared x, that is the given problem, okay, you have to solve that, right, I just check my mic, otherwise sometimes if I forget, the noise level won't be correct, okay, fine, so whenever you substitute in an integral, you have to put some part of the denominator or full, full denominator equal to t not always 60% of the time there is one function and there is one derivative for example over here if I put sin x equal to t d by dx of sin x dono of derivatives liya so derivative of sin x is cos x which is present in the numerator so our substitution is sin x equal to t because its derivative is there cos x dx after cross multiplication cos x dx automatically yahan pe aaya hai dekho cos x dx okay so whatever we have learnt substitution method for indefinite integration same thing okay so our substitution is sin x equal to t dono taraf derivative liya cos x is equal to dt by dx then don't forget to cross multiply cos x dx equal to dt and check whether cos x dx is present over there ah bhaiya yaha pe hai cos x dx so cos x dx ke liye dt bolna sirf simple right that is what we do in indefinite integration now the thing is you might ask why don't we substitute sin squared x equal to t ok so sin squared x equal to t agar substitute kiya so derivative of sin squared x kitna hai dekho derivative of sin squared x 2 sin x cos x 2 samne aya 2 sin x derivative of sin x is cos x you already know the basics now so derivative of sin squared x is 2 sin x cos x which is not there in the numerator 2 sin x cos x dx numerator mein nahi aa raha hai इसलिए sin squared x equal to t substitution नहीं करना sin x equal to t is okay because derivative of sin x is cos x and cos x dx is present in the numerator all fundas clear okay okay let's go ahead now hmm? so these are the basic substitutions now there is a very important step in definite integration and that step is after making the substitution you have to change the limits this is the upper limit and this is the lower limit so substitution ke baad limits bhi badal jate hai integrals ke don't forget that otherwise the full problem will go wrong so now don't forget to change the limits how do we find the new limits new upper limit hmm? this is the original upper limit usko badal na hai kaisa badal na hai to apna substitution kya hai sin x equal to t in that substitution put x equal to pi by 4 yani original limit so when you put x equal to pi by 4 what do we get sin pi by 4 equal to t sin pi by 4 means 45 so sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 so you get t is equal to 1 upon root 2 this value of t gives us the new upper limit so pi by 4 has been changed to 1 upon root 2 kaisa change kiya by considering the main equation of substitution usme x ki value original upper limit dalo you get the new upper limit 
sin pi by 4 that is t is equal to 1 upon root 2. Now what will be the method for finding the new lower limit? Hmm? Okay. So you have a new lower limit. Deco. Hmm? New lower limit. NLL. That is new lower limit. So to find the new lower limit what do we do? Original lower limit x equal to 0. Substitute in the same equation. We get sin 0 equal to t. Usme substitute karna. Sin 0 equal to t. Sin 0 is 0. So we get t equal to 0. That is the new lower limit. In most cases we have seen ki agar old limit 0 hai to new limit bhi maximum number of times 0 aata hai. Most of the times. Right? So these values of t t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1 upon root 2 have given us our new limits. Followed? Sunk in properly? Okay? So definite integration mein, after making the substitution we have changed the limits. Now let us write the integral. Instead of 0 to pi by 4, I am going to write 0 to 1 upon root 2. Limits have changed. dt cos x dx is dt. 4 ko kuch kiya nahi hai. Sin x is t. So you get 4 minus t squared. Okay, 4 minus t squared. You don't get 4 minus t. So this I am going to write as 2 squared minus t squared. Okay, why? Because if you call a equal to 2, this formula is similar to dx upon a squared minus x squared. In order to write that, we have taken 4 as 2 squared where a is 2. Right? So, they call it. it is like a squared minus x squared. So, dx upon a squared minus x squared, we have seen last many number of times. I have again written it. Formula 1 upon 2a log of a plus x upon a minus x. That is the formula that I have written. So, we use that formula over here. Remember, a will be 2 now because it is 2 squared. Compare with a squared. Clear? And instead of x, we have t over here. Okay? x ke jagah dusra variable t hai. Because substitution karne ke baad, dx has got changed to dt. x has got changed to t. So, keeping in mind the same formula, what do we get? Dekho. 1 upon 2a. a means 2. So, 1 upon 2 into 2. Log a plus x means 2 plus t upon 2 minus t and the answer aane ke baad plus c nahi likhte this is definite integration we just write lower and upper limits bracket leke hmm? and in this we do not resubstitute the value of t <coughs> directly we use the formula upper limit minus lower limit now upper limit minus lower limit yani kya ye jo answer aaya hai ye answer ye function mein first put replace t by the upper limit hmm? observe now so 1 upon 4 log 2 plus 1 upon root 2 t ke jaga upper limit 2 minus 1 upon root 2 t ke jaga upper limit so log of upper limit ho gaya, minus same log of in place of t put lower limit that is 0 so that is why I said upper limit minus lower limit formula yaad rakhna ok to get the final answer in place of x or t substitute that so upper limit substitute kiya minus function to log a 2 plus 0 upon 2 minus 0 ये हो गया भैया अभी 0 to 1 upon root 2 लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है क्लियर संकिन प्रॉपरली ये आंसर आ गया लेट अस सिंपलीफाई चलो जल्दी से सॉल्व कर देते हैं सो व्हाट डू वी गेट नाउ एलसीएम लेना है डायरेक्ट रूट 2 कैंसिल मत करो एलसीएम ले लो
यहां पे रूट टू एल सी एम है इसके नीचे कुछ नहीं है सो टू इंटू रूट टू प्लस वन इसका एल सी एम ले लो टू इंटू रूट टू माइनस वन सिंपल मेथड ऑफ एल सी एम माइनस टू प्लस जीरो टू माइनस जीरो इज टू अपॉन टू टू प्लस जीरो इज टू टू माइनस जीरो इज टू टू अपॉन टू कैंसिल कर दो यहां पे वन आ जाएगा रूट टू कैंसिल कर दो लेट अस सी व्हाट वी हैव गॉट लास्ट स्टेप वेयर शेल आई राइट नाउ यहां पे लिख लो So one by four log LCM निकाल लेके बाद cancel किया है. It is numerator into reciprocal of denominator which I have cancelled directly here. So what remains? Two root two plus one upon two root two minus one. And our favorite thing, log of what is zero. Log of one to any base is zero. Final answer again. And don't write plus c here because we have got a definite value. It is called as definite integration. There is no variable over here. X bits कुछ नहीं है. Direct सब numbers है. इसीलिए definite integration बोलते हैं इसको. Okay? Right? So that will be all. खत्म हो गया problem. Enjoyed? देखो video. Share करो. There is a time to share with your friends and discuss together. कुछ problem आया तो मुझे message करो, WhatsApp करो. I'm there. Bye. See you in another two days. See you.